we're going to do the Barrett Sea Loiter mission. So uh, going against the surf and surface action group uh, out here in the Barrett Sea. So uh, let's start. The load out there was uh, you saw Mark 48s and a lot, uh, 16 actually of uh, anti-ship missiles, and we're taking out the uh, improved 688. This is the USS Cheyenne, and uh, here's where we're located at, just uh, east of the uh, Kola Peninsula. And uh, let's take a little listen here. And Raise the antenna, keep the watch eye. Cast. Raise the ESM mast, keep the watch eye. And, uh, so there's our situation right there, European Union, again, squeeze Russia, etc. So for economic reasons, sanctions, uh, we're all familiar with that. And there it is, intercept and engage the Russian uh, surface action group, sink as many ships as possible. But it is uh, desired that you at least damage uh, each one of the units. And there's their position at 0500 local today, uh, 6816 north. 04208 east. So I'm going to uh, go on uh, the map here and get my bearings there. Alright, so I'm coming up here to 6816. And we'll move over to 4208 east and then drop a, a fix. Alright, come on, Mark. There you go. And a little bit of math now for everybody. So it's 6.30 right now. That's where they were at 0500. So uh, what speed were they going? Northwest at 20 knots. So in one hour they would go 20 miles. Uh, that'll take us out to 6 o'clock. And in a half of hour, half an hour, half of 20 is 10. So 20 and 30. That's uh, where they should be right now, 30, and I'm thinking, do I want to do this hourly, or how do I want to do this DR? And I'll deduce wrecking them, it looks like I'm going to take it out, uh, let's go out to where they'll be at uh, a little past 7, maybe 7.30, since I am so far out of position to the north. Alright, just cleaning up my plot now. Don't need any of those tools on it anymore. And I do have uh, one contact right here. Um, uh, we don't, I don't really know what that would be. Uh, pretty sure the SAG is too far away. So now we got a few hours has gone by and uh, have identified these guys. Uh, Master One is a Sovremedy, and a Kurov is eight, zero eight, and Master Two is the Kusinov. Uh, their carrier. So I'm uh, shooting here first at the uh, Sovereignty destroyer. And starboard side here for uh, tube two's launch. I'm sorry, tube one. And tube two, of course, is down the port side. All right, hot straight and normal. And time for the second torque. Okay, and you can hear the uh, whole mounted sonar out there pinging in distance uh, from probably all three ships, not at least two. I doubt the Kuzinov has a uh, sonar. She does carry a lot of uh, KA-27, I believe, or the Helix, whatever the Helix uh, helicopter does it is. So there are uh, ASW helicopters in the air. And we're just uh, letting this torp run, and uh, it's, it's, it missed. And that's why I looked at my target motion analysis display, and that's not good. So <clears throat> I went ahead and manually uh, made some adjustments here. And all I want to do is line up the track along those bearings and get them centered to the middle of that strip as uh, best, best as possible. And uh, good enough, and turn all the crew back on. So Mike 2, that's that guy down there, that's the Kusinov. So I've adjusted it, uh, bearing error of 1%. 
pretty engaged to have a good uh, location on it. And, uh, after uh, some thoughts here, maybe going with these uh, uh, anti-ship missiles, probably not a good idea uh, with helicopters in the area. I am kind of far away. So uh, here just to have some fun, I'm uh, going to go ahead and shoot all of them. All 16. And uh, something should die, right? So that's my, my logic. So here's our uh, Tasms taking off. Tas, Tas, when you got there, no Tasm stands for. Uh, I'm trying to remember. I think it's talking about anti ship. With the land attack version of ship version. Attack this is track this missile in, see what happens. Like I said, 16 fire, gotta get a few good defenses up there. This is tracking uh, nicely, you see some uh, streams up there, white exhaust from some of the prior uh, shots. Come on, there we go, that's promising right there. Nice sharp turn to the right. And looks like the compass ahead there is heading due west. I'm seeing something on the horizon. Let's go. Let's go. Ooh, nice missile there off to the left, streaking in. All right. So the DDG saw remedy did get hit. Come on, and we're getting lower to the water. I like that. Should be able to evade anything they got. Let me still skim the surface. Yeah, that's going to be a hit. Yeah, all right, another missile streaks off for good measure. And number two. So obviously, it looks like maybe another contact further out there. Yeah, a couple more over there to my left, doing some stuff. So definitely a target-rich environment. So an explosion followed by a uh, loss of wire on tubes one and two. Okay, that's promising. So my torps uh, hit something. Looks like these missiles just uh, missed. One just got shot down. And these two are harmless now. Oh, got uh, shot down. Or, yeah, looks like it got shot down. All right. That's from the Kurov. And there's the cell remedy. What's left of it? All right, so Master One is uh, dead. So remember, CR Eight out there is the Kurov, and Master Two is the Carrier, Kuznov. So this guy here, I'm going to guess is probably, and I'm just guessing here, probably either Nakula or a Victor. Uh, since this is kind of a hard mission, I'll go with the Nakula. And uh, I'm going to engage uh, this, this uh, Paso. Alright, so that's what I came up with for the uh, Master 2. Which is the uh, carrier. Keto and there's the contact to the right. So uh, looks like this weapon's probably going to miss as well. It's passing just south of the uh, target of the Kusinov. So I've got a Kurov and a Kusinov in the uh, surface action group uh, to engage. Alright, so something got hit. But uh, so far, the luck with this mission, I'm going to say it might have been a, a decoy. Alright, 
Let's speak too soon here. Kusinov was damaged, so at least one of the torps uh, did uh, strike uh, Master Two. All right, so let's take a look. And the TMA is getting really hard on this mission too. It's it's all over the place. That's it's fairly realistic. These surface ships are uh, evading. They're zigzagging and whatnot. Uh, so they're, they're challenging here to plot. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and add to the solution with that data. New contact bearing two, seven, six. And Sierra 11 doing what 19 knots. I think is a subsurface unit there. And this is why. It's definitely within visual range. And I pan over and there's nothing there. So I'm pretty confident uh, that that's a, a submarine. Like I said, the Akula or Victor 3. Is there's normal and uh, I'm do another mark? <coughs> Excuse me. And let's head over to the left here because that's where the Kurov should be. And I'm not seeing it, uh, which means she's way off in the distance. Uh, visual range somewhere around 10 to 12 miles, so. It's at least 10 to 12 miles away. Oh, yeah, it is. All right, time to shoot some more uh, weapons. It's 2 2. And, uh, yeah. and that's all I got on Sierra 11, just a couple of hits, so I really don't have a solution. And you can see the frustration here the TMA display on the uh, Kusinov not the greatest and I missed again two torps blew by all right things are starting to get sporting now and I'm thinking I'm gonna fix into cavitate here in a second uh, okay that's okay now I got weapons showing up enemy torps Right on top of the Kusinov. Sonar, unit is and went under it, I guess. I don't know. You, you can see. Alright, this doesn't sound good at all. Uh, and it sounds extremely close. So, uh, it's time to run away. Let's fire off a uh, noisemaker. Does not sound good at all. I did put it behind me though. So there's my uh, noise maker, and uh, let's do another one. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, not sounding good at all. Well, all right, so that ends it for the USS Cheyenne. The uh, second explosion for good measure. Uh, yeah, definitely. I'm guessing that was a uh, airdrop weapon. You now the submarine all dinged up and battered, taking the port list, sinking to the bottom. And uh, there it is. It was the uh, helicopter that got me. So he leaks K27. And uh, there's my only kill, the sub remedy, and damage to the Kusinov, and uh, so. End of that mission, and uh, end of mission. Till next time, take care.